Cage received your instructions in the dressing room. Conducted Danny Alfred, the referee. Listen to my commands. The champ, Muhammad and Ali, was supposed to be here this evening. Let me but show the you champ this. feeling a bit under the weather, did your not make it to alone. Louisville. This is going to be a third blow from here up. She's going to be about right here. Final instructions, belt line. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck. Keep it real and moving. Well, Ali said, I'm not too caught up in fighting here in Louisville. I really don't know many people here. But the town has embraced me. I am excited to be in this building where some 40 plus years ago my father's career began in the amateur ranks. And she just wants to keep winning and keep winning. Southpaw Almaga, as we said, as we said, right hands can be very effective with southpaws. First time that Layla is fighting a southpaw, how did she prepare for a southpaw? Well, she said it's tough finding southpaw women in the gym. She worked with Corey Spinks, Derek Harmon, Rave Springs, who we'll see in our main event next week. This could turn out to be a mismatch. We will see. I believe Ali is just too big, too strong, too fast, maybe too good. I guess, Teddy, the one thing that adds intrigue to this is Ali goes to the body is the fact that she is going against a southpaw, and it is the first time that she's seen one in action. But it's a southpaw who's 34 years old and the heaviest weight of her career and much naturally smaller. Turned pro Almaguer as a junior welterweight, 139 pounds. Moved all the way up. Moved up to welterweight, then junior middleweight, then up to super middleweight for two bouts. Her last fight was 162. Tonight, 168. As I said, the heaviest of his career. Her career. Ali, much bigger. Turned pro 166. Has been a super middleweight her whole career. She's even been as big as 173 pounds. We've seen Leila Ali improve her punch selection. Things seem to be flowing more naturally for her in the ring. Almaga has plenty of heart. The one thing that's been pressing about it is her chip. Once she gets hit, that's going to tell whether or not this is going to be a competitive fight. She has been knocked out four times. Remember, in women's boxing, the rounds are two minutes apiece. Good start for Layla Ali. Stop! Ah. Welcome back to ESPN 2's Friday Night Fights, presented by Miller Lite. Friday Night Fights, your boxing authority. Layla Ali, Marianne Almaguer, underway round number two. Scheduled for ten. Almaguer with the goose egg, according to CompuBox, in round one. Jeans and tremendous physical ability. She has a finest temperament. All business. She was you almost, see what she's doing there. I'm sorry, Bob. No, I was going to say she was almost upset yesterday that Almaguer wasn't talking any trash. She's got the temperament of a fighter. Almaguer came out that last round of touch gloves, and Ali said, No, it's not the last round. We don't touch gloves. We fight. What I was saying a minute ago was you can see Ali trying to measure distance real well. She throws something and then she will try to keep her distance, not smother herself, take a little step back and see if Almaguer will fall in. If Almaguer falls in, you can see right there, Ali takes a step back and she counters. She's been taught well, Ali. Learning on the job, learning from a good teacher, Roger Mayweather, former world champion. Are hanging in there, but posing no threat to this point to Leila Ali. Hasn't been caught clean yet, Alvaro. As I said, plenty of hard, but it should have been a question mark. Ali throwing four left hands in that sequence, trying to work the body in the head. There's the bell to end round number two. Marianne Almaguer 
turned professional back in 1993. She expected women's boxing would take off after a couple of years. She said it's been a long time. She said that people like Layla Ali have really helped move this sport forward. Heard Patty Fitzpatrick helping out Roger Mayweather and Cutman Cassius Green as we start round number three. Good corner there, Pally. Mary Ann's corner. She has her brother Anthony Almaga. This is not where Almaga wants to be. She's looking to land a counter though, and one thing gives to her credit. She's swinging. But while she's swinging, it's wide. And mean, that means Ali, who throws more textbook type punches, straight punches, can get a real opening. The only danger right now, two spots. If Ali just walks into one of those haymakers, or if Ali pulls straight back into one of those long punches. If she stays at the right distance, either all the way out, lets Alma go reach first, then counters, or if she gets all the way in, inside those wide shots, like that, Ali doesn't have to work. See, that's what Ali has to do, stay inside those wide shots. If she falls out, that's where she can get caught by Almaga. In other words, Almaga needs room to punch. And that's where Ali has shown the improvement over the last year. See what Ali did there? That's the way to play it. Two ways to play it. Be all the way out where those long punches just hit the air and leave the person thrown wide open. Or get all the way inside those wide punches. Actually, that's what Vernon Forrest needed to do in his last fight when he got upset by Mayorga for the welterweight title. He had a free swinger. He needed to be all the way out or all the way in. He got caught in limbo. Vernon Forrest here tonight checking out Layla Ali. Of course, Louisville, the hometown of Layla's father, Muhammad Ali. Hi, I'm Joe Theismann, and that's how I used to feel. Worried that I wouldn't be able to find a bathroom when I needed one. My aging prostate was giving me fits, but that's not the answer. This is Super Beta Prostate, and you can even get a free bottle. What a difference it's made in my life. Now I don't have to go to the bathroom as often, and I usually sleep through the night, waking up refreshed and ready to tackle anything. What's so special about Super Beta Prostate is that it is the most widely used supplement supporting a healthy prostate. Did you know that 50% of men over 50 and 80% of men over 80 have an aging prostate issue? Chances are you need Super Beta Prostate too. Super Beta has a trusted 10-year history and is all natural, made from a scientific breakthrough plant sterol called Beta Cytosterol, which helps relieve your sudden urges to go to the bathroom. You'd have to take 100 saw palmetto capsules to get the same amount of Beta Cytosterol as you would from just one Super Beta Prostate tablet. If you want a stronger urine flow and more complete emptying of your bladder, I recommend Super Beta Prostate. Super Beta Prostate works. Gotten used to getting up multiple times a night and, you know, kind of adapted to that, you might say. I thought that was maybe normal. And once I started taking Super Beta, it just changed my life. Now getting up maybe only once. I have more energy the next day. Now with Super Beta, I find that I can comfortably get to my destination without the concern of this uncontrollable urge to want to use the bathroom. So if you're tired of waking up so often in the middle of the night to go, or tired of trying to figure out the fastest way to the bathroom, then try a free bottle of Super Beta Prostate. Don't accept the issues that come with an aging prostate. Call now for your free bottle of Super Beta Prostate. 
Call now and we'll send every new customer a free bottle of Super Beta Prostate. Just pay shipping and handling. Give Super Beta Prostate a try for free. Call 800-497-1383. 800-497-1383. 800-497-1383. Tuesday, March 19th, you'll be hitting the rewind button to watch 10 celebrities do this again. Series premiere Tuesday, March 19th on ABC. 16 countries, 39 games, live. The 2013 World Baseball Classic on ESPN Deportes. That is Jill Record, who is a strength and conditioning coach for Marianne Almaguer. Marianne Almaguer is dedicating this fight tonight to Jill Record, who lost her daughter, 18-year-old Jessica McClain in a car accident on January the 6th. Almaguer found out about this fight on January the 1st, and Jill Rector's daughter was killed in a car crash, so Almaguer dedicating this fight to the memory of Jessica, Jessica McClain. Well, that's an example of the heart of Marianne Almaguer, outside and inside the ring. He's trying to hang in there and land that big shot against Ali. And the big shot being that southpaw right hook which can be the most dangerous punch thrown by a southpaw to an orthodox fighter. Because the orthodox fighter is not used to seeing that punch come from that direction. Ali bends when she needs to bend. Very important. She gets in that pocket, gives a little bend, and lets those wide punches go right around her with no damage. See what Allen's doing. She's trying to prod with that jab, trying to create an opening. Now we're trying. Ali trying. Now we trying to make sure she doesn't walk into anything either. Because Amaka still throwing those looping shots. Good hook to the body from Layla Ali. That's the place to go. Amaka coming in the heaviest of her career. A straight right hand to the body. That's the place to go. As we said, Alvaro coming in heavier than ever before. And that is it. You cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Alvaro can't continue. A right hand to the body, which is Leila Ali's forte. Body shots. And the one thing that her father never did, go to the body. Her father didn't have to. He had the fastest hands in the world. He never went to the body, but his daughter does. Celebration time in Louisville on Valentine's Day evening. Leila Ali finished it off with a kiss to the body. Solid right hand finished off Almaguer. Ali threw a couple of left hooks to the body earlier in the sequence. But the right hand finishes it. She is now 14-0, gets her 11th stoppage. Let's take a look at Teddy Leila Ali in action. Getting the South Almaguer.